like it or not, from ruler undies to district taco. Yes, the chain now going national. The popular restaurant chain started 13 years ago with a single food cart. It's grown to 14 locations. And now the company officially launching franchising opportunities. They say they want to grow from coast to coast, one region at a time. So, Guy, any other local brands that you think could or should go national? And are you worried that the quality may dip a little? Absolutely not uh, about the quality. But yeah, I'm thinking of Yum's Carry Out. How many folks at home know exactly what I'm talking about? If you've been out late night one night and you're looking for something to eat, you go there, they have the mambo sauce, so the entire world will be introduced to that. Now, whether or not you're eating chicken, that's on a case by case basis. So, but I would love to see them go national. I am surprised that mambo sauce isn't caught on like outside of this region because it is so yeah. good, especially with with wings. It's yeah. like the one thing that you would think. But anyways, so Sweet Green caught on. Obviously, it was Georgetown grads. And that is, I mean, I know it's out in L.A. like crazy and people are eating these salads like they're, you know, the $30 salad people love, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> people are on board out here for a $30 salad. And, you know, the other place is Kava. Oh, yeah. You know, that's like been that's been franchised everywhere. I was trying to think of where else. I mean, good for these guys. That's like that's is there amazing. anything you miss from D.C.? Like now that you're out west, you're like, oh, I have a craving for this. Yeah, I do have to say it's been hard. I mean, and, and maybe we need to do some digger, like more digging. But even like the pizza here is very different. I think it's very hard to find good L.A. pizza. And I feel like there were a lot of good wood fired pizza places in D.C. You know what I love? I mean, they don't really I, I'm a huge two Amy's fan, but they've never Ooh. like they never like had a franchise, but I would love to see. I love their stuff. That would, I think, like, lose, like, the coolness effect for two Amy's if they, like, expand yeah. it. You know, people, those restaurants, they want to be, like, small and hard to get into. Andrea, anything you miss from home? Any place that you'd be like, this is a good franchise? Not necessarily I miss it, but I think Ben's Chili Bowl. Is mm. that franchised? Well, there's a couple of them here. I don't think they're franchised, and obviously at the airport. Right. <laughs> No one should be getting Ben's chili bowl at the airport. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that. but I'm thinking, um, and one of my favorite restaurants is L'Oreal Plaza. I mean, if we could just have like 10,000 oh, yeah. L'Oreal Plazas across the mm -hmm. country, I'm, I'm there for it. Yeah, that's definitely a favorite up in Adams Morgan. But I, there are a couple of these places here in DC that you're like, Kava, I think is one of them. Like they are starting to spread out and people are really catching on, especially with the sauces that you see them, at, like the tzatziki and things like that at supermarkets. So mumbo sauce. I'm just surprised yeah. it hasn't gone national. Yeah. So it's weird. A great thing. All right, guys, time for Marina's last word tonight.